Well, busted my ass to make it here for Wednesday, uh, which, you know, really shouldn't have been able to happen, but I made it work so that maybe I can still get some uh, decent pain loads for the rest of this week. Uh, also got some good time lapse for you to look at. We got a sunrise this morning. Uh, also, Iowa 80, the world's biggest truck stop. And, of course, the freshly groomed Rusty. And, and he's a pretty dog. And he's a good one there, baby. So check out that on this episode of... The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience, but not as furry now. Look at him. Ah, the freshly groomed Rusty, the world-famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. <laughs> Alright, here it is, uh, Wednesday morning, the 22nd of June. Uh, sun's just coming up. Dawn. And, you know, soon I'll be blinded by the light. You could do two songs on that one, right? Blinded by the light. Or you could do, uh, what, The Weekend? Well, uh, yeah, I am going to be able to deliver today, Wednesday, because, you know, the, if you were following my videos, the last this load I'm on that is not paying me anything at all. I'm actually maybe losing a little bit of money to do it. Um, I said, you know, I, I don't think I can make this work, and I need to deliver Thursday, and they said, oh, well, they're not available Thursday, it has to deliver Friday means I'd have to wait even longer <clears throat> on a load that's not paying me. I won't go into details, I'll just say I found a way to make it work. Alright? So, I can't wait two more days to not, to not get paid. So, there you go. So I'm going to be able to be there this afternoon. Hopefully get unloaded, and then I'll wait until tomorrow morning that gives Bo the rest of the day to try, me, try to find me a load for tomorrow, and this one better pay. <laughs> I'm not running for free again, no. I'll make that very clear. But uh, Rusty did get groomed. Of course, you saw him in the opening there just a second ago. And you'll see him again towards the end. Even, uh, even, they, they shaved down his head even more because, you know, I did that butcher job when he got uh, all that grease all over him, and I had to trim a whole bunch off so they just cut it all down and make it all even so it'll all grow out evenly again you know they did a much better job than I did with my scissors uh, here at like two o'clock in the morning in Caldwell Idaho but what are you gonna do so yeah just thought I'd uh, now that the sun's coming up I thought well this would be a good time to do some road video and I uh, filled up in Vermilion, South Dakota, where the fuel was a little cheaper, down closer to five dollars a gallon. It was about five uh, eighteen, I think. And I'm going to top off again if the card will let me. Once I get to the Walcott, uh, Iowa 80, the world's biggest truck stop, up here ahead. Uh, what about another? Let's see what mile marker am I at? I'm at 265. All right, that's 284. That's how, you, that's how you know a truck driver when we know everything by mile markers. You know, we, we know the mile marker of all the truck stops and everything. Yeah, 284. So, uh, 19 miles. I'll top off the fuel again because in Illinois it's a hell of a lot closer to six bucks a gallon than same in Indiana. And I'll be delivering in Indiana, so I want to be as full as I can so that whatever load they find for me next, I'll have closer to full tanks. And that'll get me hopefully back to another state where it's a little bit less. I don't know. I haven't looked because I don't know which direction I'll be going after that yet. So we'll just see. So we can only hope. I hope. I hope I get a load that pays. So I'm not doing this again. Not running for free again. At least I'm in a little bit better mood. I was able to calm down. And. Uh, some more tacos yesterday cooked up here in the truck so that's always good so fingers crossed let's hope we get something decent Largest 
this truck stop, and actually it is. I think they have over 900 spaces, something ridiculous like that. So, nice thing is, you know, you can always find a place to park there, day or night. Um, I've seen it really, really full, but never completely full, which is good. So, might as well try to take advantage of the cheaper fuel here in Iowa before we go into Illinois and try to top off my uh, fuel thing on the truck. The ramp ahead. I've used 60 gallons, so if I can put on 60, that gives me an ultra credit which I can use for showers and parking, and, uh, and then I'll get my points and all that. So we will attempt to do that. Right. So yeah, I thought I'd run the little video here so you can see as we pull into the world's largest truck stop. For those of you who may be curious, there's a pilot across the street. Uh, that's a cluster bug if you want to risk getting hit. Turn right on West Iowa 80 Road, then take the second left. They actually have a trucking museum here. I took my, when my uh, son Justin was riding with me one time, we stopped here, we went through the whole museum, and they have uh, trucks throughout history. It's really kind of cool. So you can see uh, trucks from different times and all that. Uh, they've changed the entrance on this thing a couple of times now. It's way down here, you see where it says, Truck entrance, world's largest truck stop, Iowa 80. You kind of get a feel for the place as you're coming in. Right there to the left, you can see the trucking museum. It is kind of neat. If you're ever to hear drivers in the daytime, yeah, go check that out. I think it's free, if I remember right. And uh, one thing they finally fixed, they made an angled road here a while right back. Right on 60th Avenue, then take the first right. A couple of years ago. And they had, you know, they repainted all the spots blindside back. And it's like, you're the world's largest truck stop. Why are you doing that? Making all your spots blindside back. They finally fixed it after people complained enough about it. But, you know, come on. You're the world's biggest truck stop. Don't make it more difficult for us to park, please. So anyway, you go way over here. We passed the main building already. And there's a separate fuel island building. It's got more, uh... It's got some stuff for sale on there too, like steering wheel covers and lights and more mechanical Turn right stuff. on 215th Street, then turn right. She just never shuts up, does she? Alright, so... Here we are. Oh, well, apparently they have Chester's Chicken now inside the fuel building. I, I'm not a fan of the Chester's. I like the crispy, crunchy chicken. That's, that's the good chicken, baby. Yeah. on over here and we'll pull in behind this tanker and we'll get her filled up baby yeah Turn right shop. on 60th Avenue, then take the second right. Complete shop here, and they also have a truck wash here. They even have a dog wash. Yeah. <laughs> I've never tried it. I, I, I keep meaning to sometime, but of course, Rusty just got washed and groomed. And I am kind of under a time crunch this morning. So, but up here, as we're coming around the corner, you'll see the main building. They've got a... Uh, DQ in there, Wendy's, uh, Taco Bell Express, they even have a full service restaurant. Turn got right on 60th Avenue, then take the second left. A whole bunch of showers, they've got uh, a couple of decked out trucks in there you can look at, and all the chrome you could ever want in your life, and a whole bunch of truck gadgets and everything that you can waste all your money on. So, uh, yeah, if you're ever looking to just throw some money away, do 
some trucker shopping. Iowa 80 is always really good for that. So, get back out on the road and keep on trucking, baby. side marker trailer light. Um, if, you, if you saw my video where I repaired that light, I had to buy a replacement light, right? It's the right side. Um, a few Five miles, back, take exit 290 on the right to I-280 East. She gets annoyed. There's currently sometimes. light traffic on your route. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, anyway, and when I went out, I thought it was the light, and so I replaced it, and all they had at the Petro in, uh, oh, wherever the hell was it? Somewhere in Indiana, right there at the Indiana and Ohio border. All they had was the incandescent bulb, and I got the LED kind of light on the uh, driver's side. So I just bought that, hoping that that was the issue, and well, of course it wasn't. I still had to fix that light, and I did that in the video uh, where I was up in Herbiston, Oregon. Well, now that I can see the trailer lights and the side marker uh, turn signal lights, now that they're in the skirt, since we fixed that whole situation, I want them to match. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm silly that way. I would like them both to match. Not to mention the LED ones last a hell of a long. The one on the driver's side, I think I bought three years ago. And those incandescent ones, four to six months, they tend to go out pretty quick. So. And I figured, oh, sure, they're going to have it there at the uh, Iowa 80. No, not well, at least on the fuel building. Maybe in the main building, but I didn't have time to go in there and check that out. And I've checked uh, three other truck stops in the last day and a half. Three or four places I've stopped, and nobody has it. So, don't know why there's been a run on those lately, but... We'll see, I'm going to stop at the Petro Wilmington. Uh, Illinois. I'll take Rusty out then. I might just grab a quick shower before I finish uh, driving over to uh, this whatever Fancyville or whatever the heck it's called. It's called Francisville, Indiana. Before I get there, and uh, I'll check there. Hopefully, we can find it. Who knows? All right. So yeah, we're about to hit the Quad Cities here. We're going to go the, take the loop around the bottom. I like going that way better than the upper way because the speed limit's higher. You've got a way station once you cross the river on either side for Illinois, and you never know which one's going to be open, but that's okay. This is a light load, I don't have to worry about that. to cross into Illinois as we cross the, uh, I think this is the Missouri River, isn't it? We crossed that earlier in South Dakota. They've been working on the, this part of the roadway right by this bridge God, for a year or so now. I thought it would be done by now. I haven't been on this section since I came back out, but apparently they're still working on it. So. Oh, one thing I wanted to also mention about the Iowa 80, they also have other stuff in there for drivers. They have a, uh, a barber. I've got my hair cut there a few times. They have a uh, dentist. They have a chiropractor who also does DOT physicals, and I've had him do my last two. 
uh, physicals. I think I'll probably do it again this year. It's just easy to get that done, you know, if you're going to park there anyway. You can knock a couple of birds out, you know, with the proverbial uh, single stone, what do you say? 45, really. Oh yeah, they're completely redoing the road on the other side, which is good, because boy, that was a terrible stretch. You knock your teeth out. It was so bad before. So, I guess it's a good thing they're still working on it. Uh, oh, Mississippi River, okay. No, it was Missouri I went across earlier in South Dakota. Yeah, here's the Mississippi River. The old miss, the old man, deep river. <coughs> kind of a cool looking bridge. I got my shower there at Wilmington, uh, the Petro in Wilmington off I-55 or 57, I can't remember which one it is, um, there in Illinois. And yeah, they had the LED light that I was looking for. Uh, 36 bucks, I don't remember it being that much. I know the incandescent ones are about, oh, 15 to 20. So uh, yeah, this is worth it because they last so much longer. Like I said, the one on the left side has been there for like three years. And the incandescent ones, four to six months is usually all you get out of those. So, did get that, so we'll put that on tomorrow. So, at least we did that. Got unloaded today. They did. Uh, they only took about two and a half hours, where it took them uh, over four to get loaded. So, that wasn't too bad either. So, uh, you know, trying to be in a better mood. And um, do want to say, you know, apparently, uh, Bo and I kind of got into it a little bit today. Because he was trying to give me this load on Monday that picked up today, and I told him I can't do that. And he gave it to another driver, and I guess that driver bailed on it. And so he was trying to um, give it back to me today. Oh, I forgot to turn that light back on. But, uh, you know, I still wasn't going to be able to make it work right. Because, I, you know, I did everything I could to make this one work, and I need some sleep now. So, uh, but nice... <sighs> And he said, well, somebody watched the video where I was complaining about the lousy rates and they were maybe going to come work for turquoise and then uh, now they're not because of my video. And I felt kind of bad about that. I was mainly complaining about the rates in general and how lousy trucking is right now. And, you know, 
when you get really mad, you just kind of rant and, uh, you know. So, if whoever you were who, were who maybe watched that, if you're watching this one, Turquoise Trucking is still the best company I've ever worked for. I've been with them for five years, and I wouldn't still be with them if they weren't good guys. They're really good guys, and uh, I was telling my wife earlier, Bo and I have had little skirmishes maybe twice in the five years, and this will be the third one. So, but, you know, we get past it. Well, for guys, guys tend to get past it a lot quicker than than uh, women do anyway. We, we don't hold grudges as much on something like that when it comes to work. We just get it past, move on, scream a little bit at each other, and then, you, and then you're fine. Um, but I just couldn't do any more than what I did. And, you know, I understand why he was trying to throw it back on me. It actually paid pretty well, and I wish I could have taken it. But there's just no way I could have done it. So hopefully he'll come up with something else tomorrow and I can get back to making some money. Um, like I say, Turquoise has been really good to me over the years and uh, I'm sure they'll continue to be. So I just want to make that real clear. Well, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Rusty in the beginning. He'll be coming up here uh, again at the end. And uh, yes, I did request the coconut smelling dog and, and he does smell like coconuts. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, like I said, got a really short uh, summer haircut. Well, they, they had to kind of do that because of my butcher job when I had to cut all that grease off of him. And so, well, we're just going to trim his head way down to kind of even all that up and it'll grow out even again. I'm like, yeah, well, whatever you got to do, because I was the one who butchered him and I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, at least Rusty puts up with it pretty well. So there you go. All right, so hopefully we'll get some better loads and we'll get moving on and uh, actually making some money again. That's all we can hope for. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, it's uh, been a very long day. Really long. I can't tell you how long. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Well, hopefully we'll get a good load tomorrow. Um, made that one work. And, uh, you know, try to make some money. And, uh, yeah, that's all we can do, right? Uh, please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get to your comments usually within a couple days. Sometimes it takes longer because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker at Instagram, Clutch Trucker at Twitter, and as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Yeah, yeah, listen, look, I, yeah, I really loved working for you when you were up here in Hadleyville. And I, I'll tell you something, I could jump in a car and I could be down there in like 29 hours. Nope. Alright, he's poised and ready. Oh, you, come on back down. You, you need to wait for me to throw it first. Come on. Come down. All right, there it goes, up in your pet bed. Go get it. All righty. And don't he look so purty now that he's groomed? He's got a real short summer haircut. Even got the uh, PetSmart bandana on there. Looks real good. Yep. And of course, now enjoying his begging strips. Why? Because, sing along at home, he's a begging strip dog. He's a begging strip dog. Sometimes he eats too fast and he starts to cough. He's a baby strip dog. All right, last little piece, Rusty. Here you go. Ah, yes. Loving it, loving it. All right, let's get the happy dog look. <laughs>